Good, whatever it is, I'm Ben Tellus. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, I got back in the ship and we're heading for Minmus. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. We do have a timer set so that I can make sure to get things. I don't recall why I set the periapsis timer. Oh, yeah. I think I was going to try... Yeah, I was going to try science here. Okay, thank you. Delete on close. Oh, dang, it's dark. Um, shoots. That is one of the problems with a lot of these games. Is just, you can't see. So, EVA. Let's do an EVA report. Keep that. And we'll take and store. And we'll board again. And now we will do another crew report, and we'll keep that. Man, it's so dark here. I can't see a thing. I'll have to up the brightness later. We'll log pressure data, keep, and we'll observe, and keep. Mystery goo. That's one I've already used. Ah. Observe. Keep temperature and EVA report. So take and EVA report. Keep. And let's store this all again. Board. Board anyways. It's not registering my um, my EVA report there. And our temperature, our thermometer is where? Shoots. Oh, that's it. Log temperature and keep. And let's go ahead and accelerate time so we can start to see our ship again. Hopefully we've got to come out of the shadow of Minmus. Yay! And we're out. Line up to the maneuver node. So this maneuver node is to take us back to Kerbin. It looks like, and that's in three days. So let's accelerate it a little bit more. You know, just a lot faster. One day for maneuver node. Material study one on space high over Kerbin that's worth 48. Oh, we've already used that. Darn. And that's all we can do. So we'll accelerate again. Thousand times speed. Five hours. Oh, it's gonna slow us down. And Come on. Okay, thank you. Close alarm. And so now it's time. Not quite. It's almost time to begin our burn back down to Kerbin. And if we look at our delta V, where is it? We have 878 meters per second. And we're going to use. 355 so we'll have about 500 meters a second of delta V which we'll use for some last minute braking at Kerbin and it's almost time for our burn let's speed up time just a little bit and burn go to the map so our orbit is slowly changing we want to no longer reach escape velocity. And we're almost there. Oh, come on. What's going on? There we go. And thank you. We'll call that good. Add our apoapsis. We'll add a maneuver. Actually, no. I'm going to do it further on, which is less fuel efficient. 
but uh, now nah, we got plenty of supplies. Plenty of supplies. We'll do it at our apoapsis. Come on. Add maneuver. Burn retrograde. And that will land us on Kerbin a little too quickly. That's close enough. So we'll add one for our maneuver node. And let's, uh, didn't mean to grab that, but we will EVA. Let's see what of our science experience we can grab. Take data, take data, and climb down a little bit. Can we, yes, collect data, remove data. And we can't reach the mystery goo pods, but we'll take and store. We gotta remember to grab that mystery goo, but we're gonna go, it's in eight days? Oh geez. We'll just accelerate as quickly as we can. And you know what? Cool, that was actually pretty precisely done on that maneuver node. Periapsis, 329. Bring it down just a little bit more. I want it in atmosphere, so if things go wrong, we will eventually come down. And let's accelerate time again. So basically, we just got to make it back to Kerbin and survive re-entry, which I've failed at maybe a few times. And we'll be home free. We can delete that node, given I've already done it. And we'll accelerate. Man, that... I, ooh! Okay, so point is retrograde. And we gotta get our experiment. So we're gonna decelerate really quickly. And we're not ready to break this off quite yet. Shoots, I think I'm gonna miss that mystery goo if I don't. Okay, let's do a quick save here. Ah. Should I just sacrifice my mystery goo? No, let's, let's try for it. And our, come on, come on, come on, down and over and collect, remove, thank you, now don't die, oh, we're looking through his head, that's bad, that's, that's very bad, oh snap, I have messed everything up, and now I'm panicking. Definitely a way that you want to do things in space. Okay, take and store and board. 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 Oh, good. And let's decelerate fast. Point of retrograde. Oh, that was really close. We're almost out of our liquid fuel. And as soon as we're out, we will eject this bottom. Okay. And we are away from that stuff. Okay. I think we will make this safely now. We've got all our science available here. What's well, heating up? Oh, there goes our stage. Goodbye. Okay, this time, note to self, pay attention to our altitude. And what do we just lose? I think the press mat barometer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We gotta watch our parachutes and we'll put out our drogues as soon as we're able to. How are we doing? A blader is doing fine, like that will last us plenty of time. We're just a few minutes from landing. And it's slowing down our loss rate too. We're going about Mach 3 if this was sea level, so we would need a crew report from here and keep and we need a temperature scan we're not going to run the EVA report log 
and keep and let's get out those drugs because they're safe ish now and we can actually eject our main chute but we're gonna wait just a little bit so we've got our SAS module here which is helping to keep us safe helping to keep us upright our electric charge is doing fine let's speed up time just a little bit I'm thinking I'm gonna shoot for 5,000 meters of where we get out our chute what are these set to altitude 2500 that's about where we want to put out our main chute I think actually on second thought and still dropping 120 meters a second and slowing down okay let those bring us slower and yeah we're doing pretty good here and we'll get out our main chute we'll accelerate that will open at 500 meters if I recall right so we'll bring it back to normal time acceleration at 500 meters or just oh a thousand meters apparently oh yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be fine so we'll accelerate time oh EVA report we can actually safely get this now I think so EVA because we're suicidal like that EVA report keep and take and store and board again okay now we'll bring it down six meters a second is pretty slow I think this the ship has a tolerance for 10 meters a second so I guess it's not all that slow it probably would be a little bit bumpy on the landing honestly but yeah Jebediah is gonna be fine and he's died once before he he's perfectly fine with a slightly bumpy landing and to one meter or one second sorry okay and we have the reports to get from here as well we're not gonna crew report and keep and a temperature scan oh turn off SAS so EVA temperature scan and surface sample EVA take and EVA report keep take store and let's let go and now we can take a surface sample and keep the data grab take store board temperature scan okay we can do that now log temperature keep and let's recover this vessel so that's our ship back from orbit of Minmus and there were a few science things that we missed such as their deep space materials bay but 492 science is not shabby at all so let's see what do we want now I think we're gonna want the better solar panels what else do we have here high-powered electrics electronics unmanned tech Ooh, that sounds nice I'd be slightly less likely to kill everyone if I did that monopropellant though sounds pretty nice lander tech a larger heat shield skipper that would let us put some pretty big craft into space Let, let's actually go for that we'll get our bigger craft first and we should be able to launch everything with the smaller parts we can do but just in case let's see plane parts lander parts I like the aerodynamic nose cones we're gonna need those so we'll research that 291 we could get this launch escape system oh yes 160 is all we need for that and what else can we get ladders wheels yeah we're gonna go with the larger solar panels 
I think I already have comms of some sort. Yeah, I gain an antenna. So that will let us send some of our signs back just a little bit quicker, which will be good. And do I actually have lander legs? So we'll put this down. Will that be ground? Yeah, I've got landing struts. So I think our next goal will be to land and return from Minmus. So and in control, we need an inline reaction wheel. There's a lot of things that we're going to need. It's going to have to be a decent sized ship. Aerodynamics. I just, sorry, I'm forgetting which parts I have. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do kind of our minimalistic return pod. Communication. Tolerance seven meters a second. What's our range? Five hundred K. Oh wow. So the high gain antenna actually lets us transmit faster too. So I'm thinking we'll use that. And science. We've got a lot of different science things that we can do. So if I'm not mistaken, this just lets us do what we've already been doing. We store the experiments in there rather than in the crew pod. Uh, so I'm not sure why I'd want to use that. So I'll put on a science junior. We'll do kind of our standard science package. I should just make this a module so I don't rebuild this every time. Then we need the thermometer, and I only need one of these in all reality. A flight computer. Like their description, it's actually the chip version just in a box. Let's see. It's actually the chip version in a fancy box with flashing lights and spinny things. Sounds about right. Okay, so we'll need radio mount parachutes. Because, and, hmm, I want to do our launch escape system tower here. Oh, is that too big? Oh yeah, it's meant for something much, much bigger than that. Like, say, the 30-person pod. So we'll actually skip that for now. Okay, so we'll put on our tiny parachute again. And our drogue shoots. So that should get us pretty easily back to Kerbin. And we'll need a transmitter this time. I think that will work. So let's check the deployed. Yep. Retract. So. Oh, we forgot a decoupler. That would have been bad. And then. So we'll need an upper stage that can take off from Minmus, and I don't think it's going to take all that much. But we're going to go with a little bit of overkill. So. Let's, do I have some decouplers that will work for that? If I can remember where anything is. Radial decouplers, okay. So part of the reason why I want to use this, actually we're going to go wider even. I want to use the radial decouplers is it will give us a wider base to land on. No. We'll do these. Yeah, that's right. And so the wider base will just make it more stable and easier. And so we'll go with more fuel tanks here. 
but I think we're only going to need one engine. Can I change? Yeah, we'll look at min miss thrust weight ratio. And then engines. The Terrier? Torque. Thrust weight is 15. So yeah, that, that will be plenty. And then I do have fuel, and it's good. So we'll do these guys going in. Yeah, and that's going to be way overkill. But we'll, we've got our wider base now, and so we can put our landing legs on that. Start retracted. And we'll need aerodynamics. If we're going to need nose cones to help get this thing into space. And come on. Coupling. We need a decoupler down here. And then this is where I'm going to build my main rocket. We're going to go to the Rockomax size. And see. Yeah, I think that will do pretty well for a lander. I'm actually going to finish building this thing off camera because now it's just mainly going to be me taking, where are they, the Rocket Max size tanks and slapping on a few of these. That's probably way overkill on this. Let's look at what that gives us though. Not the poodle. We need the skipper, I'm thinking. So, 20 thrust weight. Oh, because I'm looking at mid miss. Kerbin. Yeah, 1.0 thrust weight. 4,000 meters a second of delta V. Yeah, that should do us just fine. And we're going to want our solar panels too before I forget those. If I can remember where I put them. Or not where I put them, where they are. So we'll use. Okay, we're just going to use two of these, I'm thinking. Where do we want these? Actually, no. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our photovoltaic cells, the small ones. Oh, not those. These. And we'll put these up here. And then the main ones, the 3 by 2s No, we'll, we'll do the one by 6s again. We'll put those out here. Oh, geez. Ah, I'm breaking everything. Okay, so anyways, I'll just, I'll finish building this off camera. I would like it to do a little bit less clipping, which looks like that should work. And no, I think that's just our rocket built right there. Just got to strap on some stability enhancers. And a massive... Oh, I don't have any bigger SAS. Shoots. This is going to be a bit unwieldy to get into space, but I think I'm going to call this an episode. We'll launch this next time and hopefully make it to space just fine. And it looks like we have plenty of Delta V. So I'm not overly worried about that. But anyways, I'm Intelis. I'll catch you later.